Brian, I'm trying to sell these wheels. So this guy's going on about how he cannot pick up these wheels. I was going to record it, but I said, this, it's just another one, man. And that's why I'm just kind of really throttled back even listing stuff. And I'm like, how can things just be constantly wrong in this place over and over again? But they are. Anyway, six minutes and 50 seconds, almost seven minutes, just basically talking about how he cannot get here. How he is far away. He cannot get here, and my ad shows the location, but for 6 minutes and 50 seconds, still continuing. What a good deal it is. How I cannot get here. It is 2 hours away. It is 2 hours back. Really, it's 2 hours back at the same place you go 2 hours? I wouldn't think that. I would think it would be like a half an hour back. I, I don't know. Is it work? Th is it equal distance? <laughs> Motherfucker. Anyway... Don't sell stuff. I'm gonna just bring these wheels to the scrap iron yard. Then we got John F. Kennedy commenting. Then he deletes his comment. Uh, too much time on my hands. I'm 11. I have to get out to the real world and uh, work 9 to 5. Okay, everything is basically part time here. And uh, it's probably more like not even 9 to 5. It's different weird ass hours. Uh, the Gapper cars. Okay, a guy doesn't like my gapper videos. The purpose of the gap is for like two people hitting each other. Um, not quite. If you leave eight car lengths or five car lengths or even three car lengths, that's a little excessive. Even two car lengths is excessive. Like about a half a car length is enough. And that would be like one full car length. And if you add it up from the distance between your front bumper and their back bumper. But then again, they think they know everything. He's probably a gapper, this guy. He's probably leaving the six car lengths. Then, no, he must like Chevy trucks, though. It's not a how-to video. It does not say how-to on it. It says this is how it clips on. Dude. Always a surprise in condo land. Oh, they drained the pool, they retiled it. Now we're having Marachi show over here. I think it's time we, uh, yeah. No, it's walking around. Ouch. Fuck, I hate when I do that. This paint's no good anyway. We did that multiple times. I think this, I think I actually might have found material that's somewhat grainy like this. Hopefully they'll send me a free sample. And the picture kind of looks grainy as hell. I want grainy as hell. So it matches. I don't want I don't want green like this. Which kind of sucks. I want green like that. I think I found it because the color's coming back in style actually. Because the seat foam is still good. That's my seat foam. But that's the foam, it's foam back vinyl. And as you see that let go. And let's let go over here. And yeah, it's totally trash. The only problem is that someone redoes your seat. If they're drunk like they probably are here, they will have lines that looks like shit. You have to do straight lines. I've seen that. And I've gotten, this is years ago, like 300, 350, 300 anywhere, to like 3, or like 400. Sea foam's not bad, you see it's ripping over there too. This like needs to be done, man, by like the end of the year. I've been saying this for like 10 years, but seriously, I'm done. But I mean, you're walking around with duct tape on your ass. Um, that's an issue. We have, it's not like we're poor or anything. We have that. I should go turn this back down too, back to correct it. It's like 156,000, not 166. Wrong size, stupid tires, what an idea that was. What the fuck's this lady? Watch it. Seat redone, man. Because I am tired of this. But no, I've got Marachi. This is just an experience. I like the video now and then. This to remind myself. Of what this is and how I really this should run, and run returns for return up north, or something like that. R U N. Return. Yeah. Ret uh, stands for that. This thing is 
is getting cooked. But we didn't like it. Oh, I did it again. There goes the paint, dude. Not very good paint. How wild these things are. They start going after each other when they see people. <coughs> That's probably condo illegal. It lights up. But now you get the night walkers. People everywhere. You hear the. There's more down here, but you hear the sounds of the cars and the traffic right here. And you wouldn't hear this months ago. That's what the added people here. I don't want to live around them anymore. I don't want to live around people. That's crazy. I hear the traffic. More people. It's like the fucking Scooby Doo down here. We're going to have to shut this down. People just come out of every little hole. One garage opens, one door shuts, someone comes out of it. These dogs are gonna go nuts. God damn, you see what I mean? These dogs are gonna go nuts again. They're gonna go nuts. Hear the sirens? Come on, dog. It's just, there's a Scooby Doo everywhere. It's like the Scooby Doo hallway. Just got people all over this place. Scion with the stance. What the hell is this shit? There's a siren, someone just died in an accident. I'm gonna so done with it. I was reading up, I was having problems for probably the last two weeks or something. I finally got a good night's rest last night. But of noise and how it affects you as a person. And this fucking place is so goddamn noisy. You hear the fucking traffic over here? It's in the cars. And then you get sirens, you got airplanes, you got loud fucking cars that are louder than mine. Got people banging shit. You got the trash guy who comes next door and I think he freaking uh, slams the container at 5 in the morning. Boom! Like it falls off his truck. You got the mail guy who has like full masters on his mail truck. Everything. It's noisy. And tomorrow's gonna be noisy. Because it's Thanksgiving. I don't know. My video on the darkest hours of the night, the stove the hobo would say. And daylight savings time is probably never going to be reversed now that the house is uh, filled with whatever. We're gonna have two years of nothing. And the. What else is going on here? The Daytona show is this weekend. I should really just drive up to Daytona, but the traffic's gonna be fucked up just to get the I 75. From here, it'll take me about a half an hour. And usually, it was like 10 minutes. So, uh, what do you do? Apparently, this place is shot too. You know, I know someone who uh, knew this girl. They went to school with them. Uh, they were like good friends with them. Yeah. That's New York. Says that the uh, hung jury. God didn't do it. I guess he's not not convictable. I don't know. See what happens in the second time around. But again, it's just wasting your taxpayers' dollars and the court systems up there when uh, there's so much evidence that the uh, that dude killed this girl. And horrible. And that's New York for you. And then I was laughing too about here and how things work in this state and how things worked where like used to work, which is right there. My bay was like somewhere in the front because I was a newbie. There was one of my friends over there, like another friend, another friend, another friend. Charlie was back there. He moved to Arizona. There was Giovanni over there. I think he's not there anymore. Who wanted, didn't want to do anything. We changed light bulbs and air filters. And you got Armando. And then you had uh, Lorenzo. He got moved to FDNY. And uh, who was the other guy? Who was the freaking other guy? I forget his name. Oh, Jeremy. He helped me weld. He was like, kind of a hack welder. Inspection machine was in the bag. Alignment machine. Well, yeah, I got places like this where you can uh, get away with li nearly anything. I ripped the door of a car on the other side of one of these beams over here. My friend crashed into one, ruined the car. Um, you know, they'll just get pissed off and get sent home, but you still had a job. Uh, what did my friend do too? He tipped over the, ape the uh, airbag module and like a, I don't know, some freaking SUV thing. It blew all the bags in it. <laughs> it's like $1,000 in repairs. Uh, and you get away with it because yeah 
it was bad. 145, and that was a different location now they moved. But you know, that's just the deal of the, uh, the location. You know, what what's worse, what's good. They made us put these things on all the time too, the play frames. We had a black one though. And then we made one with Smithtown, we put Shittown, we made custom on Shittown Toyota. We had fun. But yeah, they, we had some crazy manager that wanted us to put all these things on. I never did it. No one ever did. And we said, okay. Then we used to just take a bunch of them and just throw them in the trash. So it looked like we were doing it. Because that's not your job to put a plate frame on someone else's car. That's wrong. It has some really bad reviews, this place, too. That might be a custom. I mean, uh, one of the kids in the shop. It's funny pictures they put. <laughs> yeah, this place was hobby shop. After work, we freaking did everything, man. Yeah, I still miss that place though. New location. I don't know who works there still. But as you see though, when you're a criminal in this New York state, you get away with things though, which is just totally fucked up. I don't know where to go. But obviously, uh, condo land is not the place.